Hey everybody, Peppermint here, and welcome back to Sonky Zero, Last Beginning. We're still in the prologue, um, still trying to figure out what exactly is going on in this very uh, weird island. Um, we've kind of come to the conclusion that we might be on a reality TV show, um, but I, I, I don't think that's the case. I think that's just, that's what we believe for now, but it's going to turn out to be something else, I'm sure. Um, actually, we should probably go this way if possible. Yeah. There's a straight road with the ocean at both ends, and an apartment-like building facing it. Hmm. This building isn't nearly as damaged as the others. As I stare at the building, one of the doors on the first floor swings, swings open. A man built like a bodybuilder emerges, followed by a woman in lavish-looking gothic Lolita-style clothes. Oh. oh, it's you. Haruto. Oh, hello there, Haruto. Have you taken a look around the island yet? Or perhaps you're here to see us? No. I just happened to pass by. I noticed this building is still in decent shape. What are you two doing here? Are you searching for the food mentioned earlier? No. Oh no, we're not searching here. Although, like you said, this building is in better shape than the others. That's why we've been assigning rooms for each of us and using them as bedrooms. Well... It was quite a bit of work, but we cleaned up all the trash inside the apartments for yesterday's mission. Hmm. So they're bedrooms. Then were you two getting some rest together? <laughs> it's not like that. Just so you do not misinterpret the situation. He was persistently hounding me to show him my body, so I allowed it just this once. He repeatedly pressed his hard instrument against my breasts and stomach. Okay. I know what she's talking about, but she's trying to make it sound way dirtier than it is. <laughs> hey now. My, my. Hold on just a minute now, Miss Ima. You're the one giving him the wrong idea here. That's love. Though, if you ask me, there's nothing wrong with a love that sparks from a misunderstanding. The sky is weird. Miss Mashiro mentioned that her stomach was aching, so I was simply giving her an examination. Huh? Examination? So are you? Excuse me. How rude of me. I still haven't properly introduced myself. My name's Mamoru Ichio. Believe it or not, I'm actually a doctor. Is it healthy to have giant muscles <laughs> like that? Like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't live that life. Well, I've yet to earn my degree, but I plan on going into pediatrics. Don't tell me. Oh, you're a doctor. I assume you're a bodybuilder or something, judging by your impressive build. Well, lifting weights is a hobby of mine. My body's just like this from continually punishing myself, you know? He talks with a smooth voice, but it just comes out as intimidating because of his muscles. Right. In other words, he's a doctor interested in children and enjoys hurting himself as a hobby. Hey now. You make me sound like some sort of pervert. <laughs> that laugh. This woman also seems unique in her own way. Yuma. Yuma, was it? What do you do? Are you in the fashion industry? I am Yuma Mashiro, the woman with the child-bearing hips. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, is that it? your entire personality is just your body? <laughs> that is not a personality trait. 
surely you have more going on than well. just that. My father's name is Rinji Mashiro. Oh. I'm sorry? Why did she bring up her father when I asked her about her own job? Wait a minute. Rinji Mashiro? I've heard that name somewhere before. Yeah. She's the sole daughter of the Mashiro Group's president. That's right. Oh, now I remember. Why didn't I realize it before? She's a prominent figure in my industry. Mashiro Group is a giant corporation that represents the entire country as a whole. They own companies in numerous industries, including manufacturing, financing, distribution, and media. They're said to have enormous financial and political sway due to their wealth and inner business network. The head of Mashiro is the president, carried over from when it was still classified as the conglom conglomerate. The current president is none other than Renji Mashiro, so this woman is his daughter. <laughs> I believe working is for suckers. <laughs> I bet. That was a bit different when you say it. But... But I was planning on working today. She who does not work, neither shall she eat. That is basic survival etiquette. She wears an uninterested, or uh, regretful expression on her face as she speaks. I don't know if that'd be considered etiquette, but I agree we should all work together. Though, if you don't feel well, it may be better to get some rest. That's true. Haruto is right. Don't you worry about finding that food. That's love. We'll give you some once we find it. Sharing is a basic principle of love, after all. Mashiro does not accept charity. Once we return, I will pay a fair price in kind. <laughs> Let us see. How about 100 million each? Excuse me. That's too much. <laughs> Love seeks nothing in return. Just go back to the bedroom and get some rest. You'll have to wait a bit for water, though. I'll start a fire and boil some water for you. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. Yuma. Is she going to be alright? Yeah. Yes, yeah, she'll be fine. It seems she drank too much water due to the heat and got a case of water poisoning. Be careful not to do the same, Haruto. Of course, you should still stay adequately hydrated. Thanks. Okay, I will. Well then. Well now, I have to think of a way to start that fire. I'll see you around, Haruto. Hmm. So it seems like right now we're just going around meeting everyone. A doctor and the heiress of the Mashiro group, huh? They'd normally have nothing to do with each other. In any case... Yuma Mashiro, the one and only daughter of the president of the Mashiro group. She's known to be one of the richest people in the country the world even which begs the question why is she here with us besides that a normal TV studio couldn't air a show breaking so many laws if anyone could pull this off wouldn't the Mashiro group be the only possible suspect <laughs> what am I doing writing the local news's headline I don't know anything for certain yet I should keep looking around and gathering info I mean, honestly, everybody so far is suspicious in their own way. <laughs> ah. Like, I don't trust any of these people. I mean, the doctor is probably the only guy so far that didn't, like, raise a red flag. But then again, like, in a situation like this, you really probably shouldn't trust anyone.
On the other side of the road from the garage is a wide space that presumably used to be a parking lot. Sashika Hirasaka is crouched there, humming as she writes something on the ground. <laughs> um... What are you doing there, Sachika? Haruto! Oh, hey, Haruto! Short time no see! I was looking for a good spot to build the toilet! I've looked all over, but I think this is the spot. It's close to the garage, too. Hmm? Are you in charge of building the toilet? That's right! That's right! Oh, but Ryo and Rinko are too. They're looking for the materials right now. Oh yeah, that Ryo guy was looking for a rope. Looky, looky! And Sachika's making the blueprint! See? Look! Isn't it cool? There are various diagrams and formulas scratched on the cement with what seemed to be a rock pen. I don't have a clue as to what she's writing. Maybe they're just doodles. Impressive. But maybe you should simplify it. We have limited supplies here, after all. I see. Oh, yeah. Then I should make it easier to build. Thanks for the tip. I feel guilty seeing a young girl like her work like this while I do nothing. Excuse me. Let me help you with that. I'm sure there will be some heavy lifting to do, too. Are you okay? Are you sure? You trust us now? Sachika looks into my eyes uneasily. It seems she's still concerned over the previous conversation. Sorry. I really do want to trust you all. That's why I want to do what I can to help. Besides, we wouldn't want your, uh, prosthetic arm and leg to get damaged. I hesitated for a second, unsure of how to bring up her prosthetics, but ended up saying it anyway. Um, your eyes just changed color. Are we not going to talk about that? <laughs> like, her eyes were not pink a second ago. <sighs> I mean, it seems a little too obvious for her to be, like, the villain or, like, the person who's behind all of this. But, I mean, obviously she's not, like, she's not like the rest of us. There's something going on with her. We can't repair them out here, so we should be careful. <laughs> no need to worry. If the damage isn't too severe, I can repair it myself. It's okay. I may not look it, but I was hailed as a girl genius, you know? I was even featured in newspapers before. Huh? Sachika's expression. Or rather, the entire air around her seemed to suddenly change. But, but I must say, I moved by your sincere concern for my body. Therefore, as such, I'll respond with sincerity and kind. With those words, Sachika deliberately lifted up the skirt of her one piece. What are you... Uh... Girl, what are you doing? Check out my stomach. This is such a good X shape. There's an X shaped tracking device on Sachika's belly button, just like us. The pattern and color are slightly different on hers, and it has an industrial metallic look to it. Comparatively, our X keys are almost like toys. In fact, they look like the buttons on a game machine. Yeah, like the ones that were missing. Uh, yeah. You can get a little closer and touch it if that would help you trust us. No, I I don't want to touch your belly button key. There's a faint smile on her face. It was an uncanny smile, as if she was doing it just so she could enjoy my reaction. Come on, take a better look. Yeah, all right, I get it. Cover yourself up already. <laughs> Did I go too far? No! Hey, just who are you? It's Sachika. The Sachika everyone forgot. What? Forgot? Haruto. There you are. Um, 
Did she take a look around the island already? Ugh. Ryo, Rinko, listen, there's something wrong with... Ryo! Welcome back, Ryo! Did she find the materials? Haruto says he's gonna help us build the toilet! And her eyes are back to normal. Um, okay, so Sachika is clearly... Uh... Possessed, or a robot, or insane, something, something ain't right with that girl. Huh? Thanks. Oh, thanks for the help, Haruto. We could use another set of hands. Yeah. I'll help, but. Hooray! Thanks, Haruto. Did I just imagine that? Maybe I'm seeing things from all this heat and stress. Are you okay? You okay? Not feeling too good? No. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. This is like one of my biggest pet peeves in any type of game, movie, book, whatever. Like, something clearly is not right. But you're just gonna keep it to yourself. You're not gonna tell anybody because, yeah. That's totally what you should do, right? That's how you get murdered. In that case, mind helping me find materials? I still can't find that rope. What about the rope around your chest? Just use that. Oh? Oh, if you're looking for the rope, I saw Minamo with it earlier. Um, yeah. Remember that cop with the hot bod? Oh man, I'd love turning her into an art piece. Ryo had whispered into my ear. I do remember her, but for different reasons. All right. I guess I'll go find her then. I can check the layout of the island while I'm at it. Do you need anything else? I can keep an eye out. It's like this. Yeah, just a few things. They should all be somewhere around here on the island. I look for Minamo on my end too. Well then. Then I'll prepare some water. We may need it for the toilet once it's ready. <laughs> Sachika will clean this place up and wait for you guys. Don't get lost, Haruto. Sachika. I won't, Sachika. I wonder, since when have I been speaking with Sachika like she's an old friend? For some reason, it just felt natural that way. Maybe because she's like 10? I don't know. All right, so we gotta go find the skanky police officer. Let's check the map. Um, oh, okay, so she's like all the way up there. Um, normally when I play games like this, I'm definitely the type of person who will like explore the entire map and make sure I don't miss anything, but we're still in the prologue, so I don't think that's too important. Um, this icon is blue. What does that mean? Take. What is it? Let's take this. Obtain partition. Burden. When a character's burden goes over their carrying capacity, they will be unable to move. Organize your items often to avoid being encumbered. Since sub-members, characters not currently in the party are focusing only on carrying items. They will not limit movement even if their burden goes over capacity. Be sure to make efficient use of sub-members. Okay, so people who are not in our party can carry as much as they want. Now it said to sort your stuff, so I don't know what it means by that exactly. Um, well, I won't worry about it too much for now. Um, and let's go down to this marker. Oops. Hmm. That's odd. 
I thought I saw someone walk by. I hear someone stepping in the sand behind me. I turn around, and in that moment... What? Controller just went absolutely crazy again. Um, scared the crap out of me again. <laughs> Suddenly, a hand covers my mouth, and I get dragged into the shadows. Sorry, could you keep quiet for a sec? What a violent police officer. That was skillfully done, though. Now, now. I'm gonna let go, so don't yell, okay? What? What was that for? See? Quiet. Look, the man with the towel around his neck points toward what seems to be a goat. Oh my! That's the first animal we found on this island! Wonder where it's been this whole time! Yeah. That must be the food they mentioned on TV. Since you're here, how about giving us a hand, Haruto? With what? Let's go. Hunting, of course. We're going to kill that animal. Huh? Kill? I can't do that. I've never killed anything before. You just got here, so you may not realize this, but we don't exactly know how long we're stuck here. We should hunt and eat whenever we can. Or whatever we can. Don't you agree? Besides, I'm more worried about Sachi. She's not as physically strong as the rest of us. I'll do what I can. You catch on quick, don't you, Haruto? I like that. I'm Zen Kubota, a farmer from a countryside deep in the mountains. Nice to meet you. He looks like a really nice guy, but I feel like he's also he also has the potential to like murder us all. Like the guys who look nice right. and normal, I don't trust him. And nice to meet you too, Mr. Kubota. Yeah. Oh, I'm not one for formalities. Zen is fine. It feels a bit too casual when we've only just met. Yeah. Alright! We haven't introduced ourselves yet, huh? Well, I should have been more upfront, me being a cop and all. I'm Minamo Satouchi, a 25-year-old rising police sergeant. Is that what they wear in the police force these days. <laughs> Dang it, there I go again. Nah. I should only salute when I'm wearing an officer's cap, but it's been a habit of mine since I was a kid. She seems kind of goofy for a police officer. Guess that makes her more approachable, though. Hey. It's going to get away if we waste too much time talking. Haruto, let's approach it from the front. Officer, could you go around behind it and block its escape? Leave it to me. 10-4. I'm used to setting up checkpoints. How's this? I made a lasso. We might be able to catch the goat with this. I doubt it, but you're free to try. Haruto, there should be a stick around here you can use as a weapon. Should be better than fighting barehanded. I nod in response. So... We're gonna kill a goat with a stick. <laughs> Seems like a terrible idea. Zinn adjusts his work gloves and smiles. Okay, let's do this. Now this is survival. Okay, so I'm guessing I have to find a stick so I can beat a goat in the face with it. Equipment. Equipment can be equipped to the hands, head, body, and feet. Open the party menu with R to put on or remove equipment. By pressing tab while placing the cursor over an equipment slot in the party menu, the strongest equipment will automatically equip from inventory items. Try picking up an item in front of your character now. Okay. Um. Maybe this will come in handy. Combat. 
press the right button to attack or hold right button to perform a charge attack. Charge attacks can be used to break specific parts. Perform a charge attack with multiple people to unleash a chain attack. A cooldown time will incur after each attack, temporarily preventing you from attacking again. Landing multiple hits with a charge attack will start a combo. Hunting organisms in ruins can net you food items, materials, and experience. Breaking parts will also net additional rewards, such as items. While charging, press the right button again as the bar touches the pink section to fully charge all characters. Press the right button again as the bar touches the pink section to fully charge all characters. Okay. Be sure to utilize both basic and charge attacks to their full potential. Well, at this point, like, why would I even use a basic attack? Let's take this. Um, I mean, just saying. Okay, so we got our sticks. <laughs> Let's, oh, oh my god, is it attacking me? Oh, crap, how do I get out of the menu? Okay. Where is it? Oh. Wait. That's it? Okay, so that's the combat. Um, also, apparently you're not safe in the menu. That goat <laughs> was like headbutting me while I was still equipping things. <laughs> that is rude. Did we get it? The goat-like animal is laying on the road, completely immobile. Nice. Oh, I didn't even need to do anything. Good job, boys. Oh. Haruto did a much better job than I expected. I thought editors were more indoorsy. When did we tell him we were an editor? Like, I've got pretty strong legs from all the business trips I've gone on for interviews. I know we need to eat, but I've never killed an animal like this before. No, no. No, it's still alive. Just barely. What? We should finish it off then. It won't be much help to the animal now, but I don't want it suffering any more than necessary. <laughs> Did your killer instincts awaken after your first hunt or something? Well, then. We need to cut its car carotid artery and bleed it out. It'll reek otherwise. Huh. Whoa, you really know your stuff, Sin. Must be because you grew up on a farm, huh? Well, a normal farmer wouldn't normally do stuff like this. I just happened to butcher goats because we handled so many in my region. Can I have the rope to hang it up? Here you go. Guess we didn't need the lasso after all. <sighs> well, yeah. Wait. Wait, hold on. I was told we need the rope to build a toilet. That's why I came to find Minamo in the first place. Oh, you're making the toilet? You should have said so. I got dragged into this before I could say a word. See? And we only need a bit of rope to hang the goat, so you can take the rest. Excuse me. Do you need help with anything else? You can stay if you want. That is, if you want to watch a goat slowly bleed out. No. Uh, that's all right. Tachika's waiting for me, so I'll be going now. Okay, I'll leave that to you then. I'm just gonna watch this so I can learn something. What? He'll just get in the way, you know. <laughs> you like me? Why are you being so mean, Zen? Is it because you got a crush on me, huh? Is that it? You're annoying. What? You're so annoying. Yeah, see those eyes? Those are called yandere eyes. Those are the eyes of someone that will, like, kill your entire family. <laughs> well, thanks for the rope. Uh, 
Okay, so we've like met everybody, I think. Um, my hands are still shaking. That animal is still alive and will be killed soon. If life goes on like this, will I eventually get accustomed to taking lives? Damn it. What am I saying? It's too late to be having those thoughts. I've killed already, long ago. I mean, he did mention, like, that he had snuffed out a family or something. Um, so I kind of gathered that. But there's also the whole thing with him saying he's never killed anyone, so... I guess he's also kind of a liar. I don't know. I mean, I'd probably not tell somebody I just met, like, hey, yeah, I've killed someone before. <laughs> but... I don't know. Um, Destination is so we're going back to a garage area to build the toilet. Oops. Haruto's back. Did you find the rope? Yeah. Yeah, here. Is that everything? Thanks. Yep, that's everything. Thanks for the help. Uh, where's Minamo? She's still helping Zen. This goat-like animal was by the buildings over there. The three of us hunted it down and caught it. Mr. Goat! A goat? I want to see! <laughs> Me too! Lead us there, Haruto! The toilet can wait! Wait! No, wait, stop! They're probably wrapping things up now. You shouldn't go. Huh? Wrapping? Well, you know. Oh, I see. We can check it out next time, Sachka. Huh? What? Why? No. Because that goat is probably dead already. We'll be eating it later, so it may be best not to look, for your appetite's sake. Listen here. Jeez, Haruto. Too direct, man. Aww. Oh, the goat's dead. I wanted to pet it. Well, you still can. <laughs> it's like this. Well, we'll die too if we don't eat. Sachka, you've only had water and fruit these past three days, right? You need to eat a real meal. Look at it this way. The goat will live on as a part of you as a part of you once you eat it. Aww. Really? It'll be a part of me? Thank you for being our food, Mr. Goat. Yeah. Now that I know we've got meat coming our way, I'm pumped. Let's build this toilet before it's chow time. menu. Finally! I can finally open the menu! <laughs> Press the escape button to open the system menu. Various options are available there. Try opening it now. I've been like mashing all the buttons on my keyboard trying to open the menu and it just wouldn't let me but finally that is a thing. <laughs> Okay, learn skill part one. Learning skills will enable your character to accomplish a variety of tasks. Select learn skill from the system menu. Okay. Select a skill to learn from the list. SP can be spent to learn or level up skills. As the character's level increases, they will earn more SP. Try learning the reformer skill first. Okay. 
learned a skill. A skill has been learned. Now let's go to base expansion. Press space to return to the system menu and select base. I only need two experience to level up again. Wait, 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 wait. I just saw something weird on there. I'll, I'll bring it up later. Well, at the base, you can access shortcuts to the facilities on the gr on Garage Island. Base expansion allows you to build new facilities or expand the features of existing ones. Try selecting base expansion now. Base expansion allows you to expand the facilities on Garage Island. You will need the reformer skill and required ingredients to expand. Let's try building a toilet which is needed for the current mission. I don't... Oh, okay. I was gonna say I can't, but that was the warehouse. Dun 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 dun! We built a toilet! Beautiful. So let's see what our options are. Um, like, okay, so here's finally all of our options. Why would they m <laughs> make you wait so long before you can, like, adjust this? Like, thank God I can do that now. If possible, I'd like to switch to my controller. Um, but I, I don't know how to do that yet. Um, So I'll I'll figure that out later, I guess. Um, but at least I can make the text go faster now. That's nice. Okay, various facilities. There are various facilities available on Garage Island. The toilet you built earlier can be used to relieve the bladder gauge. Bedrooms can be used to heal life. Weapons, armor, and materials can be used in the workshop to create many different items. Food items can be used to cook in the kitchen. Items in the warehouse can be used when crafting and cooking. Try expanding your base as much as possible. Tutorial details can also be found in the survival guide. You will also find hints for progression there, so check it out whenever you're stuck. I'm not going to get stuck, come on. But uh, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, you guys. So we finally met all the characters. Um, we finally built a toilet. Yay! So I'm pretty eager to see how things are going to continue next time. And if you guys enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like on this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day!